Okay, so in this video, we'll talk about receiving URL data. So here we are inside a repeating group currently and clicking the button edit to edit the to edit the current cells item on another page. So we're sending parameters to that page, the items unique ID and the orders unique ID. Let's go to, to the page items and how that's set up. So here in the elements tree, we can see we've got a group item and a group orders. Let's look first at the group orders. So as its data source, we've uh, selected get order from page URL and we've put type order as we're expecting an order. We, are sent, we sent over a unique ID, remember? So the way Bubble works is it recognizes these unique IDs and if we tell it it's an order, it'll know to search for orders and it'll use the unique ID in the URL after order to find that order. And then here, for example, I can just show the Pine Group's order's name and I can also set up a repeating group which shows all the items, the list of items of that order. I can also have another group for something else I'm receiving with the URL, such as this group item. I could actually even hide this group on a page load and only show it when the condition get item from page URL is not empty. Uh, so just how this uh, works is I type in URL and I always use get data from page URL as the one. So here I just typed in item and then here is not empty for instance. And then I can add things like this element is visible only then or only then I alter the data so as to be again get data from page URL and item and we want bubble to know it's an item so I change it over from text to item so it expects an item but I've already got the condition up there so I can delete it by the way another thing you can do is here um, we could have for example a pop-up if we wanted to and only do when condition is true so only when URL so only when item the parameter item is not empty then we can for example show the pop-up or we could do a lot of different workflow actions all related to whether the URL parameter at the top here is empty. So let's see that in action if we go back to the table, linking tables. So we go here, we've got our orders here. Let's go on the bath order. We edit it and we see the different items of that order. And now the first button in each cell is that that's the one we added the workflow to. So let's go over to tub. And if I click tub, as you can see, the URL updates. It's now got an item in it, item equals, and an order equals. And the pop-up opened because we set it to show when the item key is not empty in the URL. We can click to move the pop-up, and here we can see the item. So the group took the item out of the URL and found it, and it's displaying the name. And also the order of the item is displayed here, and all the other items are displayed here because it's searching the URL keys item equals and order equals to get data. In the next video, we'll show how to clean up and make nice uh, URLs with not so long numbers. Cheers.